So it's been a minute since we've had Cambry on the channel and a few things have changed. I'm a little bit pregnant. It's a boy and we are very excited. My channel sponsor Anchor has sent over a little gift for us to help make cleaning up around the house a little easier. This is called the Robovac X8. And today we're gonna see how well it works while it's in one piece. And then I'm gonna take it apart so we can see how it works from the inside. And hopefully put it back together so that we can actually use it. Huge thanks to Anchor for sponsoring this video. Let's get started. Cambry and I have been using robotic vacuums for about the past two years. And from a wheelchair, it makes it a lot easier. I can just set a schedule and it does its thing. It just saves time for anyone. But the robotic vacuums we've been using are not near as good as this one. This is the world's first twin turbine vacuum. Guided with lasers. Those lasers provide multi-floor mapping so it can do different levels of your house, as well as includes 180 minutes of runtime. We'll have to see the size of the battery when we take it apart. Like Cambry said, each of those twin turbines can draw 2,000 pascals, which makes this a super sucky vacuum. What's a pascal? Nobody really knows. But most other robotic vacuums only have one turbine, so having two is impressive. The little round doohickey on the top is the laser navigation, like we've seen on some self-driving cars. The lasers help provide a very detailed map of the surroundings, so it's not just bumping into things and guessing and checking. Plus, it can use this map to calculate the most efficient route for cleaning. One thing that I like is the pet hair pickup on the X8 has improved by over 57% from previous models. We don't have any dogs or cats, but we do have a miniature horse that has a lot of hair. Now we have a sufficient pile of pet hair to test out the Robovac X8. I can come over here to spot clean and touch the exact spot where Cambry was brushing her horse. Proceeding to target point. And you can see already with just that one swipe, we have hair over here, no hair in the center, and hair over here. Doing a good job. So we know the Robovac X8 can handle pet hair, but how well can it handle other messes? Before we take it apart, I think we should cut up some little pieces of paper, smash up some chips, and sprinkle some rice down on our hardwood floor. We don't have carpet in our house because pushing a wheelchair across carpet is extremely difficult. It's almost the same as if you were walking on the beach versus walking on concrete. There's a whole lot more resistance and so we just have hard floors in our house. As you can see, the vacuum has already found the layout of my house using the laser on top as well as the front bumper. And instead of doing auto clean or room clean or spot clean like we did earlier, this time we're going to do zone clean, which means that we can take this zone, plop it on the spot we want cleaned, and hit go. Start zone. The little guy did a pretty good job of vacuuming up the floor. The only minor issue with hardwood floors being so slick is that there's a little side swinging bristle on the edge of the vacuum that would kind of play baseball with the different pieces of rice and chips and fling it a little ways out of the path of suction. So we had to go over twice to really pick everything up, but I'm sure the bristles playing baseball wouldn't be an issue if it was on regular carpet. Either way though, I'm not complaining because the massive mess still got cleaned up without us having to raise a finger. With the floor clean, now it's time to see if we can take this thing apart and put it back together again. This is my first time tearing down a robotic vacuum, but I'm looking forward to seeing how those twin turbines function from the inside. Dust collector removed. The Robovac X8 has a built-in dust collector, which includes a little brush and razor blade for cutting any strings or hair that might get wrapped up inside the rotating brushes. Kind of convenient. On the bottom, we have two screws holding down the battery compartment door. This guy is a 14 volt lithium ion with 5,200 milliamp hours. It's what allows the vacuum to run for 80 minutes at a time. I'll get that unplugged 
and then we have the replaceable rolling brush in the center that agitates the floor while it spins so the suction can better pick up the dust and debris. The little spinning brush on the side, the one that hockey sticks dirt into the center path, can also be removed just with one screw. UV has included a replacement spinner in the box, which is nice. The two metal pads next to the singular front wheel are for wireless charging when it parks itself back onto its dock. Finally, we have 18 more screws holding the bottom half to the glass top. Once the halves are separated, there's two additional plugs, one for the top laser and the other for the top buttons that need to be removed. This is the little motor that spins the lasers around in a circle while they quickly measure the exact dimensions of the room and calculate the optimal cleaning path. We see this same technology in surveying equipment. Now let's check out the twin turbos. Normally, robot vacuums only have one method of suction, but this RoboVac X8 has two. By removing the three screws holding down the right turbo and unrouting the wires from the motherboard, we can get a look at the underside. This is what draws in air through the machine and out the side vents. It'll make more sense when it's in one piece. Taking the dust collector and slipping it back into its slot, you can see that the twin turbines pull air in through the dust collector at the same time, one on each side, and that air is being drawn up through the bottom of the RoboVac where the bristles are spinning. Bristles fling dirt up and the turbos suck it in and store it in that little dust collector. Pretty simple and efficient. There are additional motors to run each of the bottom drive wheels as well as the front bumper that'll help it navigate obstacles that are left in the room, like chairs, tables, or miniature horses. Not too shabby. I'm a fan of this new high-tech vacuuming technology. We'll be able to turn it on, run some errands, and come back to a freshly vacuumed floor. That is, of course, assuming it still functions when I put it all back together. Charging. Start cleaning. Looks like it's working. Did you have any doubts? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> this one is currently working, all put back together and ready to be put to work. And it's ours, but if you want one of your own, there's a link in the description with a pre-order discount with free accessories and $100 off your own X8. Now, obviously this X8 cannot climb stairs, clean a car or vacuum a couch, but Eufy does have a vacuum that does those things. It's called the H30 Home Vac, a cordless handheld vacuum cleaner that's super lightweight. I'll leave a link down in the description for this guy as well. It'll be perfect for our car seat when that time comes. Which is coming pretty quick. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments. Come hang out with us on Instagram and Twitter. And it's been a while, but do you remember what happens next? Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you around.